Hi, it's Chris. Today we're learning the full song of Ruby by the Kaiser Chiefs, specially arranged for beginners. Throughout this lesson, I'll be referring to a free handout which you can view online or download by clicking the link below. There's just a few easy sections. The introduction goes like this. You want to place your third finger on the fourth fret of string one, second finger, fourth fret of string two, and third finger, third fret of string one. You play strings one and two together. Remove or lift off your third finger, so now you're playing three on the first string and four on the second, and you play this twice. The main hook of the song goes like this. You're going to play double one on string five, that's one down from the top, to fret four. Then simply repeat those numbers or those notes on the top string, double one, to number four. And then the intro section or the intro riff twice. And then double one four on the two top strings. And then all on the, the fifth string or second top, you play six six, double four, double three, one. For the second line of the main hook, simply repeat everything we've just learned. There's an extra bar at the end which goes double four on the top, double three, double one to three. Now if you turn over or scroll down, this is the verse on the top of page two. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This section uses power chords. If you can't quite do these, you can just play the top of each chord, the top number or the top string. So the first chord is one on the fifth string, three on the fourth string, and each of these chords, up until I say, lasts for four seconds or four beats. Two, three, four. Play the same numbers, but just one string up. So one on the top string, three on the fifth. One, two, three, four. Then three on the fifth string, five on the fourth string, one, two, three, four. Then slide up to six and eight, six on the fifth string, eight on the fourth, two, three, four. Then for the second line, you go back to one and three on strings four and five. Move up, one and three on the top two strings, three and five on strings four and five, and then Slide up to six and eight, but this time it lasts for two beats or two seconds. One, two, then you then you're gonna play nine lots of the same chord, but a little bit quicker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The chorus is split up into parts A, B, and C. The first time round you're going to play parts A and B. Part A goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Four and one, two, three, four. You're going to play a power chord, one and three, 
one on, th on the fifth string, three on the fourth string, play it twice. Slide it up to eight and ten. Play it twice. Slide down to fret six and eight, and it goes like this. One, two, three, and four, and. Repeat the first two chords, one and three. Twice on each, eight and ten. Then the intro riff, just once. Hold it for a while. And this is chorus part B. On the fifth string, it's going to be double one, double three, and the same on the top, double one, double three. Then six on string five, four, twice on each, double three, number one. Repeat the first bar, which is double one, double three on the top two strings. And then go to fret number six on string five and play like this. One, two, three, four, five. Now you want to repeat the verse, chorus part A, and then it's chorus part C, which is identical to chorus part B, but the, the final bar is slightly different. It's six, twice, and then seven, also twice. Now if you turn over or scroll down to page three, this is the breakdown section. So it's eight and 10 on strings four and five. If you can't quite do these and um, play power chords, just stick to the highest string or highest note of each chord. So eight and 10, one, two, three, four, four and six, one, two, three, four, one and three, one, two, three, four. Then it's six and eight, but for two beats or two seconds, one, two, slide up to seven and nine, one, two. Here's the first line of the guitar solo. Most of these numbers or notes are played on the third string, that's three up from the bottom. You're going to play two lots between five, three, and back to five. Then one, three. Then you need to quickly slide between the third fret and string three to number five. For this particular phrase, I'm using my third finger. Then you're going to play three, number one, and three on the fourth string. Then one, three on the third string. Then repeat the slide phrase, three to five, three, one, three on the fourth string. And then play the numbers one, three, five, three on the third string. Then quickly do double three to number four. And this is the second line of the guitar solo. You're going to play two lots of eight, six, eight on string one. Four, six. Then slide six to eight really quickly. Then six, four. 
6 on string 2. Repeat the previous phrase, 4 6 on string 1. Slide 6 to 8. 6 4. 6 on string 2. Then 4 6 8 6 all on string 1. Double 6. 7. Double 7 again. And then you want to play 25 lots of number 8 on the first string, but you count it like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 4, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5. Once you've played the guitar solo, simply repeat chorus part A, and then the first two bars of chorus part B. The outro section goes like this. It's one to four on the top two strings, and then twice of the intro riff. One to four. Intro riff just once. Finishing with two power chords played on strings four and five, which is seven and nine. One, two, one, two, three, four and that is 8 and 10.